Is Allah the same God as the Jews and Christians? Yes. The word in Hebrew came from El and in Arabic from El. The word for God, note the small g in English, is Allah. Compare this to Eloi and Eli in the New Testament. The word Allah is the perfect word to describe the God of Jews and Christians as it does not permit gender nor plural. Therefore, when the word is used as an Elohim or Alahama, these would appear at first to be plural and or female genders, it becomes clear it is the royal usage such as a king would use in referring to his royal station while making a decree of some type. The king would state, we decree the following. And he is talking about his royal position rather than plural status. There is no word in English for the God of Israel, the God of Jesus. This explains why the spelling remains the same whether speaking of a false god or pagan idol and the God of Abraham or Moses or Jesus, peace be upon them. Note the use of the capital G, G. This is the only way English can present a difference between the two. In the Semitic languages, it is easy to distinguish the difference between a god and the god due to the structure of the word itself. Evidence for this is quite simple. Visit any motel or hotel and remove the Bible located in the drawer next to the bed, placed the courtesy of the Gideon Society. Note inside the first few pages a reference to the translations of the Bible they have made into 27 languages. The second example they give is to the Arabic language of the passage in the New Testament from the Gospel of John 3:16. The verse begins in English, For God so loved the world. And in the Arabic translation the word used for God is Allah. The Arabic Bible beginning with the book of Genesis uses the word Allah to represent the God of creation, Adam and Eve, Noah, Abraham, Ishmael and Isaac and Israel. Page 1 of Genesis has the word Allah 17 times, 